Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about how to create a drawn look with Tunit, uh, kind of a pen and ink style, but then use Photoshop filters to kind of roughen it up a little bit. So what I've got here is a shot from beautiful Lahaina Maui. And I'm going to apply Tunit to this. And we're going to use the Outlines Only option to create a kind of drawn look to it. Now one of the things to know about Tunit is that the filter applies a little bit differently on smaller res images than higher res. And this also applies to the preview. So you can see that my scaling is about 10% here, 9 or 10%. And so this is going to look a lot different than if I zoom in to say 50%. So usually you want to zoom in to 50 or 100% if you want to get an accurate preview of what's going to be in Photoshop when you render it back out. And I just noticed that the zoom controls are off the side of the screen, so let's scoot this in. So now you can see that my zoom is set to 50%, not the 10% that it was originally. And now we can see what our outlines are really going to look like. And now I've gotten to this point by going into the outline section and clicking on outlines only. If I turn this off, it'll render it like Tunit normally does with the outlines, the colors, all that good stuff. And you may want this, but in this case, we're just going to render out the outlines. And I make that happen by clicking on outline only. And I'm using use comic. And you can fiddle around with this. The settings are going to vary a little bit depending on what you want. So we can set sensitivity down to, say, around 50 and have less outlines than we currently have. The uh, shadow areas lose their blackness. And so we can play around with strength to get even thinner lines or less pronounced lines. But I like the original look, so we're going to go back to settings of 68 for both of these. And when you have outlines only selected, really the only thing that matters is the outlines tab. This is really the only thing that's going to show up. You can make changes to the styles, you can make changes to halftone, stipple, all that stuff, and it's not really going to make any difference. Uh, the blur, the main blur does make a difference uh, since the blur does affect the outlines. So you can play around with this as well. But all these other things really don't have any other effect. These are all color effects. So let's go ahead and render this back out to Photoshop, and we'll see what we get. And then once this is back in Photoshop, we're going to use some of Photoshop's tools to distort the image a little bit. Because what Tune is going to give us is very hard-edged straight lines, but it has a very kind of overly precise look to them. It doesn't exactly look hand-drawn. And so by using some of the other Photoshop tools, we're going to roughen those edges up a little bit and hopefully get to a point where it looks a little bit more uh, hand-drawn. Okay, so we've got our cartooned, our tunit image here with the uh, line drawing. And this looks pretty good. You can see as we zoom in that we've got some really nice outlines here. But things look a little bit too detailed. It looks a little bit, uh, in some cases, a little bit too precise. You've got very thin lines along the edges here, which you might or might not have with a hand-drawn version of this. Uh, so let's go into some of our Photoshop filters and see what we can do. So we can go into, there's a number of ways we can kind of roughen these edges up a little bit. We could use the displacement filter, and this is always a good one. But the glass filter is going to give us a few more options and allow us better preview abilities. So we'll come down here to a section of our roof. And let's draw this in so we can see what we're doing. Now if I set my distortion down to zero, you can see what the original file looks like. And you can see as we're now that we're zoomed in all the way that the edges are a little bit pixelated. Uh, they look a little bit uh, computer drawn, which of course they are. So that's not overly surprising. But what glass is going to allow us to do is kind of roughen these things up a little bit and kind of give us more of a hand-drawn look. So as I increase this distortion, it's going to roughen those edges up. And if I now click OK and go back to Photoshop, you can see things are a little bit less precise. If I undo this and redo them. 
These are a little bit less precise. It doesn't look quite as computer drawn as it did before. But you still have a lot of the detail in there. Now, of course, we can undo this and apply it with different settings. Let's say instead of canvas, we want to select frosted and crank our scaling up to say around 100 and maybe increase the distortion. And so now you're going to see that this gives us very distorted lines, maybe a little bit too roughened up because as you can see, this doesn't really look hand drawn either, or at least uh, it looks very badly drawn. So we'll turn the distortion down just a bit. And perhaps crank smoothing up just a bit there as well. And click OK. And now you can see that we've gotten things pretty roughed up and getting away from that kind of precise computer drawn look. Although we're starting to get into perhaps a computer manipulated look. So this is one way of getting rid of the basic tunit precise look and producing something that's a little bit more organic looking. And of course we can undo that to show you what it originally looked like. So at this point it looks almost like a CAD drawing. And if we then reapply the glass filter, you can see things look a little bit more organic. And we can jump into the filter gallery of Photoshop and play around with some of the other effects. You can play around with crosshatch and the sprayed strokes filter. So lots of different ways of kind of just enhancing the basic look that Tunit is going to give you and producing something a little bit more roughed up and a little bit more organic looking. So Tunit's going to give you a very good foundation to work on and then you can apply some of these other filters and create some other interesting effects on top of Tunit. So hopefully you found this interesting. There's a lot more where that came from on our website, digitalanarchy.com. There's uh, demo filters you can download and other tutorials and all sorts of goodies on there, including some free stuff. So definitely take a look at it and check it out. And thanks for joining me.